I thought it'd be time to bring out the heavy artillery today because I'm always talking about females too. But let's talk about the strong independent female. That so-called strong independent female. If you use emotion as a weapon or as a tool, you are not strong. You are actually quite pathetic and really a loser. I'm saying it again. I'll say it just so I make it very clear to women out there. If you use emotion as a weapon or as a tool, you are a loser. Here is why you are a loser. You do not like men using emotion. You think men that use emotion are losers. So if, if the opposite sex is using the same tool that you're using, and you consider them to be a loser for using that tool, guess what that makes you? There is not a single man alive today who likes a woman using emotion, and not only that, but we actually find you to be losers. If you use emotion as a weapon, you are indeed a loser. Now for the strong and independent part. Let me tell you something, folks. The entire man's world has decided to take a step back to let women catch up. Do not think for a second, young ladies out there, do not think for a second, women out there, that you are better than us or stronger than us. We are actually on hold, waiting for you to catch up, because you have nagged us to death so much that we finally said, okay, you know what, men? Let's let the women catch up. But all you have been doing is using emotion against us, using the legal system against us, manipulating the court system. We're tired of it. Very simply put, we are not going to stand by and just wait for you all to catch up while you think that you're actually beating us and surpassing us. You are so far beyond us, behind us, it's just ridiculous, women. You have no idea. You have no idea that since the 1970s, we have actually given you chivalry, and we stopped being men and started becoming white knights for you all so that you all can catch up. But those glory days are over now. They're completely gone. Don't expect a man anymore to hold no door open for you. Don't expect a man to do anything for you anymore. You have a nasty foul attitude, a very bad demeanor, and you think you're entitled to that position and your status. You do not deserve the attitude that you give us. You are not worthy of the mentality you're putting out that you're better than everybody else. There's no man out there that you can beat. There is no man out there that you're even competing with. What we are competing with you with is simply how we brought the world to its needs. We sat there saying to ourselves, okay, let's let the women catch up. Let's bring down the standards for women. Let's bring down the standards. It was us men that let you bring down the standards so you could join us. We could bring those standards right back up and have the elite men survive, the elite men succeed, and all the women fail and fall on their asses if you like. Do not mistake our kindness for weakness, do not think that you are better than us. We have lowered all the standards in the world for every job opportunity you could think of for you women to join us. Do not take us for fools. We can just go right back to the old system if you like, and many men have left your current system because you think you're going to control and dominate us. You will never, ever control men. Never, ever. And if you try, what usually happens to you is you get your, ne you get your fucking neck snapped, you get your jaw broken, you get a black eye. You will never control men. Never, ever, ever. And the more that you try, the more men will end up hating you and wanting to come after you. Do you understand this? Men are the dominant ones. If you try to out-dominate us, if you try to emasculate us, if you try to control us, we will come after you. Very simple. If you want a war, if you want to try to alter who we are, if you want to try to beat us down, then you leave us no other option than to grab up our guns and come after you. Is that what you want? If you want a war with men, you're going to have it. If you continue to use the legal system against men, you will declare war on us and we will give you the war. Now I'm sure there's a lot of good women out there listening to me going, oh, he's a radical. No, I'm not a radical. I happen to know the world before this feminazi bullshit came out. And that was the world where men and women were equal. But since you little feminazis came in, you've completely dominated the world. You made men submit to you. Men don't submit for shit. You can throw us in prison, but we're still going to think about you while we're in prison. We're still going to think about how we're going to get revenge. You can't stop men. You cannot silence men. Anybody with half a brain knows you cannot silence men. History has shown that you can never silence men. You can kill us all. But if one survives, the one will come back and get revenge for everyone. This is, the, this is what men do. Men are men. Do not try to alter us, change us, or convert us. How about you get off your lazy, pathetic, princess lifestyle ass and start joining the real men in the real world? 
You are not a princess. There ain't no prince coming for you. As a matter of fact, the prince hates you because you act like a damn princess and a fool. Grow up. I'm sick and tired of men raising their daughters like little fucking princesses because you think society demands that from you. Who gives a shit what the society, fucking society demands? Who cares what society has to say? Who gives a shit about society? You take care of your kids, you raise them the way that you want them to be raised. The way that you know is the best. The way you know that they'll lead productive lives later on down the road. You don't just let them go off in the mainstream full of shit. The newest trends. Gotta watch these newest sites. Gotta have the newest phone. Gotta have these new clothes. As a matter of fact, every child should be born poor. Should be raised poor. When they're raised poor, they, expect, they respect things, they respect life, they respect other humans. When you spoil the rest of the little children, they grow up to be little narcissistic cunts. They're completely useless to the society. Every princess, every little seven-year-old today who's been treated like a princess will become 27 years old and completely worthless to society. Completely worthless. Not only completely worthless, but nihilistic towards the society also. Destructive towards society also. Think about that. Think about all the children right now being born from unwed mothers who are going to end up on social security. Think about that. Think about the destruction and the betrayal to your own country that you're, that you're having when you have illegitimate children in the world. You are self-destructive by nature. And this is why men were even in your lives in the first place to control your behavior. This is what men do. Men are controlling for a reason. They control to get things done. If there's a hundred men on a construction site, and a big skyscraper has to be built, if there's nobody in fucking control, then half those men are going to be smoking weed, the other half are going to be looking for chicks on the clock. You need to have a leader. Men were the leaders. Since you got rid of the leaders, you have been failing. You have been failing miserably. There are more single women today than there are married mothers out there today. Guaranteed. Your, your whole movement is a failure. We men have allowed you to rise and to sink and to plummet. Either you surrender and give up, or we're going to dominate again. It is your choice. We have given you 60 years to make your movement work. You have failed miserably. Miserably! And you've tried to drag men down, blaming men for your failure. But it's all over with now. The men are wide awake. The movement is wide awake. You cannot no longer pull your crap on men without being confronted on your behavior. It's over with. So either surrender or be conquered. This is Wodun's Fire. See you all later.